And you go in the cold for a very brief period of time, one to three minutes, mm -hmm. and it's shockingly cold. You yeah. have to catch your breath, stabilize your mind. That evokes a dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine release. These three things together are called the catecholamines. Those normally would increase from a cup of coffee and a, and a hard sprint for you know 10 to 30 minutes, maybe an hour. When you do the cold exposure, you're seeing increases in dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine that are two to three X above baseline. This is huge. Wow. This is huge. This is on the order of many drugs, but the difference is most drugs spike dopamine and then drop it below baseline. The increases in this case are lasting many hours, two to four to even six hours. Whenever people criticize deliberate cold exposure, they go, it's not leaning to that much fat loss. Granted, but it, to my knowledge, there is no drug nor is there any form of exercise that increase the catecholamines to that level for that long.